Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. All right, I do want to pivot real quick because I do want to talk a little bit about some of the, the most recent transfers. Um, we're going to get we're going to get to Javon Quinterly in a second, but we had people in the chat asking about Memphis. And I do think it's interesting to discuss Memphis because they just got a commitment from Jordan Brown. They've gotten a commitment from Kayla Mills, a transfer from uh, Florida State, who T.O. I know you really like. They got a commitment from David Jones, who has been a guy that has averaged double figures in the Big East for two different programs the last two years. And like that's kind of it. They pretty much turned over everything right they got a basically a brand new roster i know that they are in the mix for quinterly but where do you stand right now on this memphis program to since you are the tennessee guy we are teeing you up on this one. First of all you know memphis is memphis let's keep that in mind like memphis is memphis <laughs> and the rest of tennessee is tennessee so oh. um no you know they're good they're old again um Guys, I mean, like, when are they going to take that step? Uh, that's kind of the thing. Are they going to get to the second weekend? I think that'd be great. Um, gosh, it's a lot of turnover. Mikey Williams, you know, is he going to show up? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to think about Memphis. It's hard to really think about Memphis a lot of times because you don't really know. I think Jordan <laughs> Brown's a really good player. He's huge. Like, he's huge. He's a good player. He's got good footwork. He saw what he did in the NCAA tournament. He's a solid player. Uh, they added some interesting pieces. Caleb Mills can't shoot outside of 15 feet, but if he gets inside of 15 feet, he's deadly. Uh, there's pieces there. David Jones is a solid player. He's a hard-playing dude. He's kind of along the lines of a DeAndre Williams, just not as big and is not a good shooter. So it's like they're, they're, they're fine again. They're just fine again. So I do think that they need – they could use another piece, and there are rumors swirling – about the possibility that they could be getting that other piece in Javon Quinterly. We will see if that happens. Nothing's done. Nothing's set in stone there. Hey, I, I, we just got something in the YouTube chat. If DeAndre Williams comes back. Dude, is he coming back? They're they're applying for a waiver right now to try to that get is him. A, a 17 no. year. That he's going to be, be 27 years old. That is, he is He's older like, than Fanta. He is older than Fanta, and he's still playing college basketball. Fanta's been a professional in the sports media business for like seven years, and DeAndre Williams is older than him, <laughs> and he's going to come back. You know who's well, praying for this? You know who's praying for it? Shout out to John Martin, Memphis radio host. John Martin wants nothing more than DeAndre Williams to come back. Well, you know what? I, He's older it, than Penny. He's older than Penny. Him and Penny were in the same graduating class in middle school. HK, HKN <laughs> Music says DeAndre only played four seasons of college ball. Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's did 27 turn, years old. Did you just turn DKN's music down? Man, I, I tell you what, his music, I'm sure his music's good, but dude, come on, man. It's he's, not he's, about his age, Terrence. He deserves those seasons like everyone else. Th those five those five seasons. He deserves those five seasons. He's going to be in college for a decade. Oh, man. Come on. You know, so they, they're – I'll be curious, like, being in the American, all right, you're, you're kind of uh, – you're in an interesting predicament because they add Florida Atlantic. So you're far from the best team in the American. FAU should be a – I mean, right now they're paid to be a top-10 team in the preseason. I think part of that's all the momentum. I don't think they're a top-10 team. Um, I mean, I think they went on a magical run, and so you get pegged there. But they're, they're going to be stacked. They're going to be really good. But, like, Memphis, it's, it's interesting because that conference now is kind of a mystery as you get deeper and deeper into it. It's not great. Um, so Memphis is not better than FAU, HKN music. They're not. No, HKN, they're not better than FAU. And there's no. and, and there's certainly, frankly, they're not tougher than FAU. No. Um, and they're not more experienced than FAU. Hey, so they might be uh, with hey, DeAndre. Hey, do you want do you want to settle do you want to settle this argument? Who won when FAU played Memphis last year? Yeah. Memphis fans would say we were right. What does FAU what does FAU bring back? Everything. I, what I is know. what is what does Memphis bring back? Not much. Maybe, maybe an old man. Maybe DeAndre. Maybe thirty-seven-year-old DeAndre Williams. <laughs> you know, I, I I like the transfer hall. I do, and and Jordan Brown was a really nice kid. I mean, that's a guy who averaged nineteen and nine. 
shot 57% last year for a Louisiana program that made the NCAA tournament, mind you. And he was the key cog to everything they did. Right. Too. So like, yeah. that's a really nice addition. You know, kind of a honestly, it's a it's a it's I don't think it's getting as much buzz because it's so late. This offseason has never ended. It's never ending college basketball offseason. There is no such thing. It's late June. It's great for us. We're talking about it all the time, but there, there's always stuff going on. You know, when I look at this hall, like, could Caleb Mills be a guy that that pans out and delivers and steps up for his team? That's that's what you're betting on. You're betting on that's Caleb it. Mills and David Jones being like dudes, right? And David Jordan Brown Jones. being a dude. Let me let, let they might be like dudes this. in the American. Yeah. yeah. Think of, think about it like this, right? Let's say they get Javon Quinterly. You got Javon Quinterly, he's 25 years old at the point. You got David Jones, who is, I believe, going to be in his fourth year in college, correct? You got Kayla Mills, who is also, I believe, in his fourth year, right? Transferred from Houston to Florida State. Is he? A, I think he might be his fifth year because, yeah. Yeah, so you got, you got two old wings right there, both of whom can get buckets outside Javon Quinterly, who can really pass, assuming they get Quinterly, right? I think that's kind of where um, the, the, the swing here, right? We'll talk about Quinterly in a second. Um, if DeAndre Williams... Ends up getting another year. You put him at the four next to Jordan William at the five. He like, turns you are seven in October. You got you got a you got a, a lineup whose average age is like twenty three years old that has like roughly twenty five years of college experience combined. That's not a bad team. That's 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 something that could do a lot of a lot of damage in the American. But it's assuming you get Quinterly to commit. And you get DeAndre Williams to get, commit. I want to talk. I was about in my I was in my sixth year of professional basketball when I was his age, and I'm not, that's it's true. So, like, come on, man, get, uh, go, go do something. Go do something. That's a little bit of a. I played professional basketball for six years. Look no, but you. come on, I'm but, Terrence, no, I'm, I'm Terrence, Terrence, Wait a minute, Terrence, I'm Terrence Oglesby. I played hey, professional dude, basketball. Like, hey, 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 years. But he me. could go. He could go get a check in Belgium or something. Like, dude, get out of here. It's time. Get out of here. I know Fed, they don't pay as much as FedEx, but like. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. Yo, you d- you didn't have a professional career. No, I didn't. I didn't. You're right. Well, no, you know what it is, Terrence? It's because you lost in Houston at the Papa shot. So now Dude, yeah, Doster's crew, running with that one, isn't he? Hey, you know, you want to you want to hear something funny? Me. The comment of the year, the comment of the year in the chat was um Tony Yayo said Doster played basketball, question mark, question mark. And somebody from the field of 68 account responded, not very well. <laughs> I don't know who that was. It was either Dagan or Trevor. Dagan is out here dropping bombs. Our partner for today's episode is Athletic Greens. I started taking AG1 during the college basketball season, and I loved the impact that it had on my energy levels. I'm a big coffee in the morning guy, but by the time that the afternoon would hit, I needed another boost. AG1 helped me tremendously, especially on those days when I didn't want to get up off the couch and go hit the gym. Their tagline is AG1 is comprehensive health and the power of habit in one. And man, that could not be more true. It's nearly impossible to eat and drink in a healthy manner in the month of February and the month of March when you are in my business. And AG1 was exactly the supplement that I needed to improve my gut health and cover my nutritional bases for the day. I've continued that into April. I've continued that into May, and I'm going to continue that the rest of the summer. All I have to do is mix a scoop of AG1 with some water or maybe add it into a smoothie and I'm ready to go. Do it after lunch and you'll be ready to go for the rest of the day. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com backslash field68. That's field68, F-I-E-L-D, the number six, the number eight, and you can get yours now. So check it out and help support this show. Thanks. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.